I don't think I can tell the the sort of brand story of techniques without kind of explaining my story. I think my journey with like Muay Thai started when my dad passed away when I was 18. I think with anybody passing, you kind of go through like your ups and downs, deal with depression and, and that sort of thing. And uh, I, found, I found an outlet through Muay Thai because I was a bit of an angry kid and getting into some like street fights and stuff. So then I figured I would uh, probably get this into a controlled environment and start training Muay Thai. I fought for about eight years and had around like 15 fights. Uh, I ended up getting a concussion and then I, I got into a car accident that uh, I herniated two discs, C5, C6, and then I have degenerative disc disease. So it kind of keeps me from fighting. What Muay Thai kind of did for me, I, I've always had kind of like a busy brain and the only time it cleared was when I was fighting. So that was a time that everything just cleared for me. I was able to just like fully express myself. After I got in that car accident, I pretty much couldn't train at all and I felt lost, depression, had, had some suicidal thoughts type of thing. And I woke up one day and decided to kind of start the brand. Um, eventually launched in March right before COVID hit. So uh, that wasn't the greatest timing, but things are kind of on the up and up in there. Uh, coming around. The main reason why the brand exists and I didn't more so get into coaching and, and still training is because of my degenerative disc disease and herniated disc in my neck. I get headaches, all sorts of different stuff when I'm training, even just lifting weights gives me headaches. So I'm sort of trying to go through that uh, or figure that out, all out. So I think that pushed me more towards a brand than uh, staying in the community uh, as a trainer or even still training at all. Um, what kind of sparked the name of the brand and, and what it represents is more so what I've been through, right? Um, I think I was a angry kid after my dad passed away and then I didn't have an outlet. I had no way of expressing myself, right? So through Muay Thai, through learning how to control my body, how to kick, how to turn my hip over properly, how to like step on a jab, you, you start to master yourself, right? And then through once you learn the basics, you learn how to eventually express yourself, right? Speak your truth through, through like body language. I always felt like kind of an outsider. Um, and the only place that, that I find where I feel like it doesn't matter your background, it doesn't matter anything, right? You come in, no one cares what race you are, what, what religion, whatever. It's just, can you like kick properly? Can you punch properly? Do you listen to direction? Right? Are you, do you fall in line with discipline? And that was something I really like clung to. Almost every single person that I've met in the martial arts industry has a similar background as me. I find like something happened there, and there's a reason why they're, they're trying to let that maybe anger out or have an outlet. And I, I, think, uh, I think techniques sort of encapsulates that. It, uh, it's about self-mastery that leads to your own self-expression.